welcome to the Zamprep app. I'm going to do a demonstration of how to use this app. So what you're looking at here is the homepage of the app. Now what I'm going to do first of all is to sign out so that I show you how to log in. So I'll sign out and uh, on the homepage here, uh, if you do not have an account yet, all you need to do is to tap on sign up and then you can fill in your details there, your name, your phone number, the email and the password, and then you can tap on register. And once you're done, then you can fill in that same email and password that you registered with. Once you're in, it leads you to the homepage. Now, if you do not have any learners, you might get a message that asks you to add a learner. And if that's the case, you tap on uh, this menu item that says learners. And then uh, you can go to the top right corner there where it shows the ad. So if you tap on ad, there are two options. If you received an SMS from your school, from the school where your child attends, uh, which gives you a learner ID. So there is an example of an SMS that I have here. So you can see we have um, an SMS here that says download the Zamprep app from. So you can tap on that link to download the app or you can go directly to Google Play Store to download the app. You search for Zamprep. Um, and then in this same SMS, you actually see there's an ID that is indicated. So when you're adding your learners, you can say, I have a PPU ID, and then you simply type in that ID that you were actually given in that SMS. And then you say, get learners details, and it will give you. But if your child uh, is at a school that does not use the clutter in this school system, you can still add them to this app so that they're able to do revision, uh, revision questions. Um, so you simply type in the name, the school the child attends, and the grade. And this is what is going to be used to be able to pull the appropriate questions for the child. So if I get back to the menu for learners, it will show you who the learners here. If you want to edit the details of the learner, you simply swipe. So I swiped right. Then you see you can either delete a learner or you can edit. And if you tap on edit, you see the details that are there. All right. So let me get back to the main menu. So there are three main uh, parts to this menu. The first part is for report cards of a child. The second part is for the child to be able to take quizzes. So uh, if I go to, the first thing you need to do is to select a learner that you want to work with. So let's say I want to work with this uh, this one. I added two learners. And I want to view report cards. So first thing I'm going to do is to tap on report cards. And then you notice that um, in the top right corner, there's a, there's a a button that says download so if i tap on download what i'm downloading are results so it will download results for all the learners and it will give me this message that is done downloading um, and here you can view different kinds of report cards there is one that is called the split view so if you tap on that um, it will show you the different terms so you can pick any term here for example i can pick term three and it will show me a summary of the points so you can see here i can see the points in the best six and five, the pass rate, and then there's the list of the basic subjects, and there'll be comments from the head teacher and the class teacher. The second tab here shows the scores, and uh, you notice that um, there is um, this eye icon there, and then you got the chart there, and then you see a comparison from previous terms. So this shows that the child went up, uh, went up by 15, went up by 50. Here he maintained the score. Now, if you tap on the on the eye, it will actually show you the assessments for that particular subject in this term. Uh, in this case, there's only one assessment, end of term, but there might have been a weekly test or a monthly test and so forth, midterm test. If you tap on the chart, it will show you the progression of the child in that subject across all the different terms that the, the child took this uh, subject. Uh, you can see the same chart, for instance, if you go to integrated uh, science. If you tap on the summary, it shows you the same results, but this is a visual representation of the results. And then uh, here, it actually shows you the scores. So if you check, there's a blue line, which is basically the scores of the child. And the red line there is the class average. So it, it shows you whether the child is performing above or below uh, class average. So if I get back, there's another report called the all-in-one report, which if I select a term, uh, it will show me everything. This is a usual report card that you might have received from your school, which is printed out. And then there's this one called the year report. If you select any term in a year, so let's say 2022 term three, it will actually show you a comparison between the terms, how the child performed. And you can see that this child's worst performing term was actually term two, this red line here. 
This is for term two. I wanted to show you how they're performing in each subject. Um, and then if I get back, there's another report that shows you the different assessments. If I pick the same term two, term three of 2022, it will show me for each subject what the assessment scores were, the percentages that the child got. And then there's this report that shows the positioning. Uh, so if I tap on view, comparison, uh, then it actually shows me the, uh, so I tapped here. So the first part says average score across all subjects per term. So if you look at this at the bottom, it shows the different terms there. 2022 term 1, term 2, term 3, up to 2023 term 1. That's, these are the results that are there in the system for now. So it, across all subjects, what was the average? So you can see that the highest score was actually in term 1 of 2022, which was at 97. And the lowest performing term was 2022 term 2. Right. Then the next report that you're going to get is average subject position in class across all subjects per term. So here you're looking at in a subject, for example, English, what was the child's position in the class? Maybe number one. But then it gets the average position across all subjects. This is what you're looking at here. Uh, you can see that uh, the child performed worst in term two, where they you know that position number two. Then the next report is overall position in class per term. So what number was the child passing? If you had to rank them based on all the points that they got, based on the six points. So this child was mostly passing number uh, number two, except 2023, term one, where they actually passed number three. Then the last report is subject pass rate. So of all the subjects they're writing, how many were they passing? And you can see that he's been passing all the subjects. So these are the reports to do with uh, report cards of a child. The next thing that this app allows uh, children to do. Of course, the first part is really targeting parents who can do analysis. Now, there's another part here which actually shows the progression of the child. If I select uh, that, you can see here it shows the averages from all the from all the terms. Uh, remember that there's one that was showing averages across uh, terms, right? Across terms. Uh, I mean, across all subjects per term. But this one shows for each subject, and you get all the terms that the child has written that subject. What was the average score? And then here you can see the progression of the child in the different uh, in the different subjects. You can even be more specific and say, let me select math and compare that to English performance, and maybe also let me compare literacy and languages. And you can see that this child has been performing worst in literacy and languages. Then there's aggregate performance, which is basically what was the highest score of the child in each term, or what was the lowest and what was the average. And you can see that in 2022 term two the lowest score was actually a 50. And then if you scroll down, it also shows you the points that they've been getting. Points in the best six subjects, points in the best five, right? So those are reports in progression. The last one you can do is you can compare. If you have multiple learners, you know, more children, maybe two, three, four, five, up to six children, you can compare how they've been performing. If you tap on comparison, it will show you the average scores they've been getting across all subjects. And here, because these children might be at, you know, they, they might have started school at different times. Um, so we, we do not pick specific years, but we simply say in year one, term one, what was the score, what year, what year one, term two, and so forth. And that's what you're seeing here uh, for these children. Then the average subject position in class also you can see. So this child called Felicia uh, has been having lesser subject positions than the, uh, than the brother. And then overall position in class per term, this is what number was this child passing. So you can see that uh, this one called favor was doing better, while the other one was passing sometimes number 10 and then came down to 8 and so forth. Then subject pass rate also, you can see that both were passing all their subjects. So that's on the comparison. The last thing that we can actually view here is taking quizzes. So one part is for the parents, the other one is for the children to be able to do revisions. So there's multiple subjects that they can actually go through past papers and so forth and be able to track their progress and see which subjects are performing better or worse. So the first thing to do is to the first thing to do is to tap on the on the subject. So if you tap on subjects, you go to where it says download subjects. It will download appropriate subjects depending on the grades that were specified for these children. All right? So right now we have uh, somebody at senior secondary and we have somebody who's at primary. And then you notice that we have these different subjects. 
each one shows you the available questions and which ones have been downloaded so when you want to download questions you can simply um you can simply so let's say that maybe i want to download um, special paper one for instance i can tap on download I, I simply swipe right and then i say download so it will start downloading and then it will be done so you can see that i've downloaded all the 24 questions in special paper one so once the download is done the child then can go and take quizzes so to take a quiz you basically select the subject you want so let's say i want special paper two i pick the number of questions i want and then i say start so if i tap on question one so the key here is that questions that are marked orange are those that you've opened and then if let's say i tap on question one and i respond that okay uh, of course if you're not seeing everything so, so here it says which one is different you can scroll through these images so let's say that maybe uh, a is the correct which one is different let's assume that maybe a is different here right i won't really focus on which one is the correct answer which one comes next i can just pick anything there so the questions that you are that the child is responding to will be marked green those that have just been opened but not um, uh, responded to will be left uh, orange so let's say that i answer this uh, and i do that once i'm done if you check here in the top right corner this button that says submit so then i can tap on submit it will ask me do you want to save your responses i'll say yes and it would immediately tell me uh, that i got 40 percent you attempted five or five total questions of which two were correctly answered you're on the right track continue to build your strength work on managing your time effectively to maximize your performance do you want to review your answers so if I say yes, then it will take me to where I can actually review the answers. If I say no, it will leave me on this page. Maybe I want to take another quiz. So, so let me just say yes for now. So if I say yes, it will take me to this page. And if I tap on see your questions, so you can see that it shows me the green ones are the ones I got correct. And this time the red ones are the ones that I got wrong. So if I tap on green, it will show me, oh, here I correctly answered A. If I tap on question two, I selected B, but the correct answer was actually A. And if I tap on this question mark, it shows me a hint. The first shape completely joins the second, right? So that's a hint. If I go to number five, for instance, there's also a hint there. The first shape is joined to second shape, but consider the direction of the lines in the first shape. So the child actually gets to see some hints uh, of what they could have done differently. So as the child is taking these quizzes, they can actually view scores for the different quizzes they've been taking. So there is this only one quiz that they've taken with five questions. So let's say that I take another quiz and maybe in the same special paper too. Uh, this time I want to take six questions. So I can do that and maybe that and this and that for now. Um, and I can do that. Submit. Do you want to review? I'll say no so that I can take another quiz. I'll select the same um just for demonstration purposes and i can even submit without some questions being because sometimes the questions could be many right so i'll say yes uh, and i don't want to review so if i go to quiz scores if i tap uh, there's only special paper two here and if i tap that it will show me summary that i've been answering only special paper two um and if i take another quiz let's say in a different subject now maybe english language and I say I want five questions. Question one, A. Now you see here that there's, you have this is a sub question, but the parent question is over here. So if I tap on the parent question, it shows me in each question, there are four sentences, they're almost the same. So there are instructions there on how you need to answer. So then comes the question. Mr. Chen's wives are both teachers, blah, blah, blah. So you can go through all these based on, and then you can scroll through these buttons to the right like that. So if, for example, I go to 4A, the Livingstone was a so this is about spellings so i can say the answer was that one um mountains blah 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 i just select a random answer there maybe it's a and then i submit you've done six of 28 questions do you still want to submit your quiz i'll say yes and you tell me i got the three percent do you want to review i'll say no let me take another english test i select the same five questions um and let's say maybe question one i just do that uh, and then I submit just these four questions. So now, if I go to quiz scores, it will show me actually that I've done English, two quizzes, special paper two, I've done three quizzes. And what it's showing me here is the average. Um, 
score that I've obtained from all the quizzes that I've taken. And if I tap on a specific subject like that, it will show me the details now of the quizzes. Quiz 2 and quiz 1. In quiz 2, I got 50. Quiz 1, I have 33. If I go back, I tap on special paper 2, it will also show me this. Now, when while you're looking at the subject, if you tap on, if you check key in the right corner, there's a chart, so it's a bit dark. But if you tap on it, it will actually show you the different uh, uh, subjects you've been doing and the scores. So the average scores from the from all the quizzes here, it's actually around 40. If you tap on specific subject, let's say special paper 2, you also see a chart again in the top corner. If you tap there, this shows you the progression. So you can actually see whether you are going up or down for the quizzes you've been taking. And if you tap on a specific quiz, you can still do the revision and see which one was the correct answer and so forth. So this is all that the, the child has. Uh, and this is it about uh, exam prep. Now, you might get a prompt that says that maybe, you know, uh, you need to subscribe for you, know, for you to see more results or for you to continue using the service or revisions. So in that case, you simply tap on this subscription menu here. So when you do that, uh, it will show you that currently you have one subscription uh, for one child. Uh, which is this uh, uh, favor. And then uh, if you needed to add a subscription, you simply type where it says add. If you say add, you can select the period. For example, I want to pay 100 kwachas since that is cheaper uh, per year. And then which children do you want to pay for? I say I want to pay for Felicia. Well, it may be Felicia and favor. And then when you say pay, it will actually show you the instructions of paying through Airtel money. So the merchant code or the merchant or the business name that you need to enter is uh, glad tidings. The amount will be the sum that is there, which you want to pay. So it will show you that, okay, it's 200 in this case. And then on the reference, since you're paying through your money, the reference should be these IDs, including the commas, the way they're appearing. So in this case, it will be 3923,3924. That's what you put in the reference and then send. Once you get a confirmation from one of our... our um, or support team members, uh, you can then get back to here where it says subscriptions and then click on where it says download existing. Um, and then it will it will get any existing subscriptions. And then they'll show up on this uh, on this page. So this is all about uh, Zamprep. Um, if you need any help, you can tap on help and you see how you can actually use this app there in a few instructions there and how the app works so thank you for watching if you need to contact us you can actually if you go to this menu here you see the details on how to contact us uh, you can either call us you can send us an email or you can visit us at our offices um, if you need to back up your data so that you can use this same you can see your answers for instance for the revision questions on another phone you can back up and then on that phone that you connected to you can simply tap on restore um, so if I you know for example say backup then it will tell me that my backup is done and it will show me the date when I did the backup uh, thanks a lot